Hey Frugivore, I'm Freely. Welcome back to the Frugivore Diet channel. So today's video, I'm going to react to Elise Parker's latest What I Eat in a Day. And I haven't looked at her channel in a long, long time, but I did look over there and I noticed she had a What I Eat in a Day. So this is going to be fascinating, right? <sighs> Fingers crossed it's good, but I would have heard about it by now if it was good, right? But anyway, let's check it out today. Let's go and try to help, help her help the animals, help the planet. That's what we're here for. And if you want to see more of these videos, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's up to you. Just do something if you want to see more of these videos. Okay, let's see what Elise Parker has been up to. So here we are on Elise Parker's YouTube channel. I haven't been here for a while and I'm sure a lot of you haven't either, but we are going to check out her What I Eat in the Mountains episode seven. And the like-dislike ratio is pretty big. So I don't know if this is going to be a positive video as far as what I eat in a day is going to go but we'll check it out shall we let's check it out and first up it's good to see that she has her, her makeup free face on the camera i think that is great and i think today i'm going to share what i'm eating so a little her skin definitely doesn't look as healthy as it did when she was eating plant foods when she was eating a fruit-based diet that's the first thing I notice. What I eat in a day, Colorado edition. So, but I mean, it's great that she has her, um, you know, her makeup free face. I think that is fantastic. Like her actual human face that we can connect with. Meet Michelle. She is going to be my, wait, no, I'm going to be your sous chef. Okay, so what? Michelle is a functional health practitioner. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Anyone can have any sort of like label these days. But the thing I want to focus on here is health. It says health so she must be about health right so she must recommend plant foods and a lot of fruit okay the thing you've been making has been bread see and toast and then um egg oh or avocado, avocado. and then egg Hang a on. little bit of what egg and then e egg then avocado then egg so okay so double layer of the henzy so she's not about health the practitioner health practitioner is not actually about health how ironic. Sauerkraut and yeah. some bacon. Oh, and truff oh, sauce. Bacon. So uh, Elise just said in her little voice, bacon. It just blows my mind. Hang on. Well, I've got to contribute my dislike. That is for sure. So she's having pig butt and we know it's just, it's unbelievable that she still thinks that's okay to eat. Like I'm very surprised she, she hasn't, she's like digressed a lot you know to just eating pure junk obviously it was an animal but it's just been turned in just it turned into this horrible like carcinogenic junk food truff sauce so that's what we're gonna make and then we're gonna snap our fingers and it's gonna be done oh wow oh damn that is a lot of class one carcinogen that she is frying up there and that fry pan is almost as big as Elise that's huge what are you doing Elise this is like it's like she's gone back to how she was eating before she came to plant-based like she's digressed completely and now she's just basically eating everything I mean this is one of the worst foods it's not really a food because it's not for human frugivores like that you can put in your body so wow very disappointing Oh gosh. Oh, like and there's heaps of smiles and everything and but like no one wants to talk about what actually goes on <clears throat> excuse me behind the scenes to bring this food to them. You know, to bring the substances basically, you know, the the baby male chicks. Like these foods aren't coming just from a supermarket. You know, what happens before they get to the supermarket, right? It's just so unconscious. Oh no. Wow. Okay. So sauerkraut, sure. I'm supporting the sauerkraut. I make my own homemade sauerkraut, which is great. But the fried egg and then, then that crispy, that bacon in the background looks just, it just looks, it's dead, right? It is dead. It's very dead food and it's full of saturated animal fat. It's carcinogenic. I could go on and on. <laughs> Seems like very small serves too. Uh, you know, obviously there is two eggs there, you know, some calories and it's avocado, but it's not a huge serve for breakfast. And especially there's not a lot of volume, you know, like there's not a lot of fiber. There's just a lot of like animal fat, basically. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, right. Okay, so this is a bit... It's a bit disturbing, right? To put the smiley face and using the, um, the pig flesh and the animal obviously suffered so much. There's so much pain and suffering involved in the production of this meal. And, you know, she, she's not caring about it at all. She doesn't think about it at all. And th that is so surprising to me because she appeared to really care at one point, right? Like, I made those videos. If you haven't seen them, I made several videos on Elise. You can just put in freely Elise Parker reaction, maybe, and you'll find a lot, a lot of the videos and it will tell you a lot more. But, yeah, this is, gonna, this is just weird to put the bacon like that. My legs make me noodles, she's so hungry. Yeah, that sounds fun. Uh -oh. oh no. <sighs> so she's so incredibly hungry. So Elise did her own version of the frugivore diet, basically, of a raw diet. She didn't even do all raw, maybe for a very short period of time. Okay, and she did it wrong. She calorie restricted. You know, and that's why I recommend that you actually get a program that works. And that is go for it yourself. I tell you exactly how to do this lifestyle properly exactly i go through all my old mistakes myself and i tell you what is obviously the best way to do it and it's packed full of recipes don't under eat under eating is not the way to go you have to pack it in pack it in enjoy yourself and this is how i lost over 40 pounds all right, the link is in the description below. The physical book will be available soon and um, you can get the ebooks instantly for uh, like even like a bundle for the price of dinner and a movie. All right, check it out. And that, that's not going to make her feel good, right? It's not going to make her feel good to start her day with that. And I'm surprised she didn't show us a coffee because I'm almost positive she would have had a coffee because she's not getting a lot of carbohydrates. That was not a carbohydrate rich breakfast. Yeah, she had some bread there, but that's not, um, you know, it's dry. It's, it's often old. You know, it's not a good start, but yeah, it has carbohydrates. So, and it's plant-based, so I'm supportive, but um, that's basically the only like carbohydrate source there was. So yeah, she needs fruit, obviously. I am sitting in this cute little windowsill with this beautiful view. And I'm sipping on some. Okay, so I want to say again, it is great to see her makeup free face. I, I'm really supportive of that. I think it's, it's just awesome, you know, to see the actual human. To see the actual human, I think that is, I, I give her kudos for that. Kudos where kudos is due. Um, she's having water and water with electrolyte powder. Okay, so she's having water with electrolyte powder. So the electrolytes, um, yeah, she's dehydrated, obviously. And the diet that she is having, sure, she's in the snow, so she might be a little bit more, a bit drier. But the diet she's having is very dry. It's very dry. You know, eggs and fried, you know, fried eggs, fried flesh is not going to hydrate you. It's just going to be very dehydrating. And the bread, obviously, is super dehydrating. She had the avocado in there, but, you know, you're not going to get, you're not going to get hydrated off a bit of avocado like that. So it's a dehydrated diet. Mixed in to stay extra hydrated. I'm trying to drink a whole one of these every day, which you wouldn't think is too hard, but... She doesn't need the electrolytes. Okay. At least you don't need the electrolytes added. What you need is to add fruit, right? Add some fruit, add a lot more fruit, obviously, and you won't be requiring any extra e electrolytes. I'm doing my best. I just got off of some phone calls. I had a phone call with CNBC News. What the heck? They reached out to me like a week ago and they're doing some segment on life coaches and like how... Yeah, how life coaching works. How Hang on. I, I find this really hard to believe that this NCNBC or whatever, uh, a big, uh, you know, media outlet, as far as I know, reached out to Elise about her coaching program, which does anyone really know about this coaching program? Not a lot of people. So it it sounds... I don't believe it, okay? And we do know Elise is famous for not telling the truth. I've pointed that out many, many times. So I find it very 
bizarre that they reached out to her. I kind of feel like it's she reached out to them, you know, because she, she's promoting, I believe, this MLM, this like multi-level marketing, you know, stuff. And yeah, it's just don't get involved in it. Anyway, let's move on to the food, shall we? OK, so she has a new boyfriend. We're going out to Hang dinner. Hang on, where did the other guy go? Wasn't she with that Drew guy? I, I don't know. Like, oh, I thought they were together. But, I, you know, I'm obviously not keeping up on Elisa's love life. So she has a new boyfriend. And we're going to get seafood. And everybody already left to go walk. Okay, so they're going to get seafood. <sighs> yeah, they're going to steal uh, sea life from the ocean. Obviously, it's already been done, but they're going to support that happening by purchasing it and consuming it. And she's putting herself at risk of the wormies big time. I'm, I'm thinking she probably has worm issues already because, you know, Butcher Box, box I showed you, they're well known for, you know, having those little wormies in, in the flesh that they sell. And she was promoting that and eating it herself. So, not Here, so I'm going to look for a snack. I got this hummus. Okay, so she's got hummus. She's got hummus, like, sure. I'm supportive of the hummus. It's it's great. You know, it's it's not bad for a snack. This is special Boulder, Colorado hummus. All right, comment in the comments. Comment in the comments if you do this. If you love sauce so much that you always lick the lids of everything. I think she's really hungry. Okay, sure, you know, people might do that. I've probably done it myself, but she just gives me the really hungry vibes. And I'm thinking, where's her lunch? Is she, like, is this dinner time now? Where, Where is her lunch? I don't think she ate any lunch. Is this, the hummus is her lunch, it seems. It's pretty disgusting. I mean, not disgusting, but like, it's not like super classy. Okay. I don't do it all the time, but sometimes. What Elise Parker eats in a day. What is disgusting is eating pig butt, not licking hummus off like some plastic. That's not disgusting. Eating pig butt is, okay? Some weird random shit. How do, it's funny that she thinks that hummus is weird random sh Like I, I just, I don't see anything wrong with hummus, but you know, she doesn't see anything wrong with like her breakfast. I don't know. Mm. I've been doing this new thing. Okay, so she didn't have any, it seemed like she didn't have any kind of cracker or anything. She just ate it straight. Where as I'm consuming food, I'm thanking it. And I'm like, mm, thank you for nourishing me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so hmm, that's all very well. Okay, that's all very well to say, you know, to thank what you're eating to you know, say thank you for nourishing me. I, I think that's great. I think that's definitely a good thing to do. But if you're consuming someone who wanted to live, your you know their bit, body bits and pieces, obviously, like that's not going to work, is it? Because that individual wanted to continue living. That pig, those male chicks, they they wanted to continue living. So then we give thanks to them for nourishing us. Like they're not nourishing us. They're actually. Um, causing more toxicity in our body so it's not you know this doesn't really add up at least it does when you do plant foods and fruits because there's no one intentionally hurt in the process get what i'm saying like it's the the thought is um good but it's not going to work in her case so that's all i'll see you when we get to the restaurant moments later also oh Okay, so she, she's got some fruit there. That's great. I mean, like a very small amount of raspberries, but wow, we got something fresh, like some vitamin C, finally, because she would, she's deficient. She's a frugivore. She needs a lot of vitamin C. Remember, we can't produce it ourselves, so we need to consume it from our food. That is the most awkward handhold. I'm going to snack on some nice, fresh raspberries. She has a real little baby voice. I, I don't know what's with the baby voice, but it sounds like it, she's putting it on for some reason. I'm not really sure why she'd do that, but just a very little baby voice. Not the best combo, baby. hummus and raspberries, but I like to end it on a fresh note. Yes, yes, fresh, 
fresh is always best but you you're not getting enough fresh oh my gosh yesterday i went to the grocery store to restock on some stuff and i got mochi mochi is like my favorite thing ever see her light up when she talks about the sweet based dessert we know the mo mochi from trisha's videos right the mochi she's just eating the mochi because she is wanting fruit she is fruit deficient it is fake fruit and i'm gonna eat one later tonight when we get back from dinner See, she's already thinking about the mochi. She's already literally thinking about the mochi before she even goes to dinner. She said, later on after dinner, I'm going to eat a mochi. She, she, can't, she can't wait. She's so hungry. Oh, yeah. well, no, they need it. Well, no, it's going to be a dish. Just they will pre-cut it. Like, seriously, oysters. Ew. And then he said, he was like, no, we don't cut the dungeons. And I'm like, wow. Is that her meal? That massive? What? Alright, so my food just got here, and I got... Okay, so we can see what she has here. She basically has raw tuna, I would say, and some a little bit of rice and a bit of salad. So this is a real risk. I've told you many times, the wormies, um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not funny. It's not funny. It can really play havoc with your life. I've known people who have had issues, and it's just... Oh, it, it's it's not good. I'm just telling you, don't take the risk. Obviously, it's it's highly unhealthy. It's very unhealthy to eat fish anyway, to eat sea life because you're getting a big whack of mercury, heavy metals like PCB, environmental pollutants that are coming from industry, like concentrated in the flesh of the fish, and then you eat it, and you take that on. You build you build your cells on that stuff, and it goes to your fat stores as well, and you're just kind of carrying it around. I, I don't think that's great. I don't think it's a great thing to have. Obviously. So, um, the wormies and the pollutants, it's really worth considering. Ahi tuna and a little sushi rice and vegetable, like a little vegetable. So, so the fish, you can't give thanks when you're taking the life. I mean, like you can give thanks, but it's going to be pointless as far as I'm concerned because subconsciously you know you took the life of someone else, you know, who wanted to live for your five minute, five, ten minute pleasure like it's not even pleasure though because they you know it's always got sauce and it tastes like something else anyway it's just kind of mimicking fruit at the end of the day but you know you took someone else's life and they they didn't have to go you know you didn't have to so giving thanks it for me it's going to it's just a huge contradiction stir fry and my favorite pickled ginger so the amount of carbohydrates that she's had for the day is incredibly small. She didn't have lunch. <laughs> she's doing this probably intermittent fasting or whatever. You know, she ate the hummus out of the container. She licked the lid of the hummus. She's hungry, hungry, hungry. It is so obvious. Elise Parker needs more fruit. She needs more carbohydrates. So she's, she's just reverted back to what she, I'm sure, similar way. Maybe it's fancier looking now. You know, the junk food looks fancier because she's dining out and all that, but she's basically going back to her pre-plant-based days. <laughs> I know Elise is quite small. She's, I think, f four foot eight or something, but everything looks huge, like the plate and everything when it is near her, like the fryer pan was huge. I don't actually think it's that big it's maybe the camera angle or something and i don't think the serve is that big either but it looks kind of like you observing observing me observing i'm observing your, your I'm observation observing. so so we don't even know we don't even know whether she actually ate everything there so we don't know that either so you can see what's happening here right i don't think okay we're not gonna yeah i don't think we're gonna get her doing anything else no, so let's leave it there. Uh, she she did say she's going to have the mo mochi mochi, which she really probably enjoyed a lot because it is sweet and she is a frugivore. She needs that sweet hit. She needs it all day, really. We need to get hits of sweet all day. But um, she didn't eat enough, uh, under eating, not getting enough carbohydrates. <clears throat> As a result, dehydrated, uh, super hungry licking the hummus lid you know you can see all these behavioral traits of someone who is not get meeting their caloric needs not meeting their carbohydrate needs not meeting their sweet fruit needs all right frugivore let us know in the comments below who you want to see next and i will see you tomorrow 
and who's it going to be? I'm not sure. Definitely come back, check in, and don't forget to go for it yourself today.